hello everyone so today we are going to do the olfactory nerve so this is the first cranial nerve first cranial nerve and uh, it is a sensory nerve and uh, uh, rather than uh, the olfactory nerve the second cranial nerve the optic nerve uh, and the eight cranial nerve the vestibular cochlear nerve is also uh, sensory nerve now if you talk about the origin of the olfactory nerve so it starts from the olfactory uh, mucous membrane from you can say from the nose the olfactory receptors then um, it opens into the cribber from plate and then um, it's gonna do different functions which I'm gonna t tell you um, and the main fu the, the function of the olfactory nerve is the olfaction okay now uh, the all nuclei of the olfactory nerve is known as the olfactory sensory nuclei now if you talk about the uh, pathway so the olfactory nerve start from the olfactory uh, uh, receptors uh, for example this is olfactory cell and uh, this is the cilia so the cilia contain and this lines is a mucous membrane as we know that in our nose there is cilia so this is a mucus not mucus that the mucus membrane sorry so this is a mucous membrane this is the cilia and this is the olfactory cell so the olfact in cilia there is olfactory receptors the olfactory receptor is going to receive the olfaction um, these different kind of smell and then signals are going to send to olfactory cell and then uh, from the olfactory nerve uh, it's going to go upward and uh, passes from the cribriform plate and into into the olfactory bulb so this is the uh, cribriform plate as you can see this is olfactory nerve and it, it enter into the cribriform plate which contain different kind of pores then it enters in the, into the olfactory bulb now in olfactory bulb there are three kind of cells the mitral cells the tuffel cells and the glomerulo glomerulosa okay now uh, after enter into the olfactory bulb it can assign a synapse with the mitral cells tuffel and glomerul Loza. after that uh, it gonna for example I told you that it can enter into the olfactory bulb so this is the olfactory bulb it gonna uh, 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 synapse with the glomerulosa uh, the tuffel mitral cells and the tuffel cells and then it uh, leaves the olfactory bulb and forms the olfactory tract so there was this was the olfactory nerve and this is the olfactory tract after um, forming the olfactory tract it gonna uh, move on and then it will form three stries the medial stri the intermediate stri and the lateral stri so the medial stri uh, is um, goes opposite opposite to the olfactory bulb through the interior commissure uh, called the septal nuclei so the medial stri go to the septal nuclei the intermediate uh, stri will go to the uh, all orbit of frontal cortex and the um, lateral stri will uh, go to the uh, periform cortex this is done now if we talk about the functions of the uh, olfactory tract uh, which is smell and uh, the the disorder of the olfactory tract can be anosmia when the person cannot smell at all hypoxia uh, hype sorry anosmia when the person cannot smell at all uh, hyposmia hyposmia in which the smell is a bit like the person can still smell but it's less pyrosmia when the the person uh, smell the exaggerated smell like uh, this it's for example something else smell in person smells something else so this is the uh, or it can be pyro exaggerated smell as well and this is the pyrosmia and uh, it can be phantosmia and phantosmia this is the hallucination of the smell in which uh, the smell is actually not present but the person feels like there is kind of some kind of smell so this is the phantosmia and rhinorrhea is the allergic rhinitis because of certain allergic reaction okay and that's it thank you